Hey guys, it's Timmy with BLGaming.com coming at you today with a sneak peek at the new god, Bacchus, god of wine. Um, today we have a lot of information on him. I think it's mainly because uh, his identity, identity was kind of leaked in the Loki preview on high res stream. So thank you high res, thank you very much for the information that we got in this patch because it basically tells us pretty much what he's going to be like in game. Um, but don't take my word for it. You guys watch the video and let me know what you think. So uh, first of all, we got his god model here, which is, let me be the first to say, epic. Um, he looks so jolly and awesome, which is a kind of a nice break from the serious badass gods that we've been getting. Um, it looks like maybe Smite gets a Gragas, which I'm sure Gragas was based on Dionysus in the first place. So, yeah. Um, but here we have, he's going to be drinking a lot. And this is his model. I'll give you a good close-up look at him. Get a good check him out. Okay. Uh, and we'll go through his animations right quick and see what he's all about. So here his the here we have his death animation first. Pretty nice little death animation. Nothing too glamorous or special. Um, his emote. Pretty much taken, you know, you want a drink? No. Nope. Oh, man. Too bad for you. And then we have his um, auto attack. Now, uh, I'm going to say this once because I don't want to keep repeating um, the words because it might be offensive to somebody. But in the animation names over here, we see that he has uh, Fire Fit Shaste 01 and then Fire Sober Ish 01. So this means that he's going to have um, sort of. I'll explain it as we get down to the later animations, what I think it is. But uh, if you haven't guessed, fit shaced is actually shit faced, and sober ish is means he's sober, but not very sober because he drinks and he is the god of wine. So, as you can tell, there's a huge difference in the way he uh, swings his auto attack once drunk. So, here's the funniest idol animation for anybody I've ever seen in my life. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Lossis went to Hi-Rez stream and demanded that they have a god that drunk as much as he did, and this was their answer to that. <laughs> so, Lossis, if you're out there, this is your god, my friend. I can't wait to see you play him. Alright, um, more auto animations. Uh, here's his intro. Good stuff. Uh, laugh and here we have the the ability animations which are the most important um, here's his one animation which I'm pretty sure is going to be a huge burp that does some sort of AOE um, damage or debuff to the enemies and it also relieves a stack of his passive which I'm going to get into just in a second um, this is completely speculation guys this is not set in stone this is just what I think and what I've uh, come up with in my own head from what I've seen in the game files so um, that's his one which I assume is going to be a huge burp and AOE damage and um, relief of his passive and I'll explain that in just a second his offhand two animation where he takes a drink of his wine and I'm going to assume that it's a heal and I'll show the evidence to back that up it's going to heal himself and also give him one stack in his passive, which is he gets more and more drunk. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Obviously, if, he, if he's drinking wine, he's going to get more and more drunk. Which would be a good reason why a huge belch may relieve um, the drunkenness. So, that would be the only reason. That's the only way that they could counteract a debuff that he has as a passive. And I'm not for sure, but that's just what I'm thinking. Uh, here we have his third ability animation. It's a belly flop. It's a jump. He's going to jump. He's going to land with his belly. Probably do some kind of AOE damage and stun on somebody. And his ultimate animation. He basically just throws his big bottle of wine. It smashes on the ground. Does AOE damage. Slow. Um, it might even leave wine on the ground and if you go through the wine you're poisoned or something like that who knows clearly um, an awesome awesome god though 
we'll go down through and I'm about to show you the coolest recall that you'll ever see in any animation. Are you ready for this? Yeah, that's right. Let's look at it from the back. Oh, he's just got to go. He can't hold it. Oh, man. He's not going back to buy items. He has to tinkle. Wait, we got to get a zoom in on that face. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, he just got, oh, can't hold it. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Just had to show you. And, yeah, this is um, him really, really junk. Uh, and earlier when I was talking about the uh, the animations, you see how they have uh, two sets of animations. The animations for the fit chased run and the animations for the sober-ish run. So that would also support the idea that his passive gets him more and more drunk. And that's the reason he has these different animations. Um, I'm not sure if the drunkenness is going to be a, a debuff. Maybe he's slower but stronger. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens in game. And I think... Uh, as far as animations go, that's the, the, all the important ones that y'all might want to see. The, the most relaxing looking stun I've ever seen. It just makes me want to take a nap. And let's see. Yeah, so that's all the animations we have that's important right now. Let's move on to the effects, and then we will move on to the audio. That way you can get a good idea of what he's going to be doing in the game. So, here we have the effects. Very, very, very nice. I'm gonna I'll let you know I'm I'm pretty impressed with this god. I really like the animations, the effects, high res. You are stepping up your game with every god release, and I'm very proud to be part of your game. Um, here's the effects for his melee attack. He swings his big turkey leg. So he's gonna be a melee god, probably magic. Um, I'm not gonna say for sure because it seems every time I think a god is gonna be magic or physical, high res completely switches it up, which I love. I love that they keep us guessing. And uh, yeah, here we have FX Bacchus Ability 01. This is, this, the the files that we have here are mislabeled. I don't know why, but the audio and the effects numbers don't match up with the animation numbers. For instance, this effect says for Ability 01, but his Ability 01 animation is a large burp. So, I'm going to say that this goes for his ability 03 animation where he's taking a drink, or actually ability 02 animation, I'm sorry, uh, where he's taking a drink of his wine, he gets some kind of buff, he gets more and more drunk. Maybe the buff, maybe he gets a buff from his, a buff and a heal from his 2, and after the buff wears off, it gives him a debuff as his passive where he's drunk. I'm not sure. Um, this is the I think it's his um, belch or his burp and uh, effects his ability on one burp effects some kind of AOE uh, stun or a lot of burst damage it looks like and maybe a debuff or a stun so yeah and that's what it's like. Yeah, definitely a debuff. Um, this is what it's like when you're hit when the, an enemy is hit inside of that effect. This is what it's going to look like. So he's going to burp really loud. That big effects animation is going to go sweeping around. If you're hit with it, this is what happens. Looks kind of like a wither. So maybe it's slow. I'm not sure. Um, and here we have ability 03 burp, which the burp is his ability 01 animation see I'm not sure because I thought the effects for 02 here were for his burp but it looks like the ability 03 is for his burp hmm oh this is probably when he lands his belly flop yes when he lands with his belly flop this is what is you he hits the ground this is the effect that you see, and then you get this debuff. Yes, that, that makes much more sense. The belly flop animation, then the effects where he hits the ground, and then this debuff to whoever is in the radius. This is the burp, big AOE, whatever. Massive AOE looks like, huge. And then his ultimate. 
Uh, this is the effects for when his wine jar explodes and does whatever damage it does. Excuse me. And this is interesting because it looks like you get a buff after he throws and breaks his wine bottle because he's enraged that he lost his wine, which makes perfect sense. So some kind of buff from his ultimate. Uh, maybe a speed buff. Probably a speed and strength buff of some sort. He's just really going to be pissed that he lost all of his wine. Um, this is the uh, bottle of wine effect for when it's flying through the air. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, these are the wine, uh, just the wine. In, they're not compiled correctly, so you won't be able to see them. Um, but it's just the wine that's in his... Um, wine bottle he's drinking it when he taunts it just splashes around I don't think it has anything to, to do with his abilities uh, this is what makes me think that his passive has like three stacks of drunkenness and the more drunk you get the more of a debuff it is um, you get a little bit of bubbles above his head at first and then more and then finally the third one there's quite a bit more yeah and this is the uh, the hit the f hit effect that is applied when you're hit by his auto attack those ribbons definitely remind me of a Wukong oh which makes me very afraid um, here we have interesting thing I'm not sure about this so I'm gonna get let you guys uh, see what you think about it it's called FX Bacchus Hill debuff 01 so I think that when he takes a drink of his wine he's gonna get a buff and a heal and a debuff <laughs> I'm not I, I'm not exactly sure maybe this is I just don't know I think that he gets healed with his when he drinks but I also think it gives you a debuff and I also think it gives you a buff I'm completely at a loss um, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about it. And uh, that's all for his effects. So we've been through his animations. We've been through his effects. Let's check out his audio sounds and see what we can come up with. Um, as far as audio goes, we didn't get a lot. It looks like the audio is the last thing they're working on. It's the least finished section of Bacchus. So um, we'll just have to take what we've got. Um, first we have just a simple bottle sound um, we have the death sound but it's not finished it has zero of zero seconds so there's nothing there um, this is what it's like when he's taking a step um, his auto attack sound that huge turkey leg um, this is when he drinks power number one drink so his ability 01 animation was the burp, but the sound 01 is for a drink. So uh, they, they have to be mislabeled. I'm not sure. Um, here's the flop. This is what it, land, what it sounds like when he lands. This is what it sounds like when he jumps. So definitely going to have a leap. That's definitely going to be his, um, his, I think it was his 3 animation was the belly flop that's the burp which I think was his uh, number one animation just a huge burp and uh, let's see here's number four break so that's when his wine glass hits the ground and shatters everywhere and that's what it sounds like when he tosses it So yeah guys, that's pretty much all the sounds. These other sound files are the same. Um, there's no difference. All these sounds contain all those sounds is what I'm trying to say. So you're not missing out on anything. But yeah, that's pretty much all we've got on Bacchus, the new god that's going to be released, I'm sure, very soon in the next patch. Um, I hope you guys like what you saw. And from all this information, we should have a really, really great idea of what he's going to be like once released. And I have to say, I'm really, really excited. Uh, I, I, I love the, the badass gods that have been released in the past, and it's really cool to, you know, get into the whole badassness of it. But also, it's, it's sometimes it's fun to have, like, 
gods like Cupid and Bacchus that's kind of lighthearted and even though they're lighthearted they're probably going to be really great and awesome in game but it doesn't always have to be looking really scary you know I don't know. Thanks for watching again, guys, and be sure to head over to blgaming.com. I'll have it in the description below for you uh, to check out all the latest news, um, get guides from the pros, and basically, we'll probably get some feedback from the pros on what they think about our new god, Bacchus, here. So go over there and give it a look, and if you like what you saw, make sure to hit that um, follow button and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day, and keep on smiting.